in his last campaign, President Obama got millions from web users. He's heading out west today looking for support and money from tech titans. Our next guest has an estimate of how much money the president will raise from this trip. Ed Rollins knows presidential campaigns. He has had a major role in six of them. He is currently the chairman of the Rollins Strategy Group, and he is right beside me here in the newsroom. Ed, thanks so much for coming this in morning? this morning. Very well. Good. President Obama wants to raise $1 billion for the 2012 campaign. Can he do it? Is that a realistic number? Sure, he can do it. Uh, he, he spent over $700 million last time, and he's an incumbent president this time. Now, the question is, does he need a billion dollars? And if he has a billion dollars, does he win? Absolutely not on either answer. Uh, I think the key thing here is he's starting way too soon. Uh, uh, he's, he's still got big tasks at, 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 in, in back in Washington, and he doesn't need to be out there, but he likes to campaign. He likes to rather be campaigning than basically be the commander. Arguably, in chief. he's very successful. He's a he's very a great, successful salesman. He's a great campaigner. He likes the adulation, and obviously sitting behind the desk, the Oval Office, a tough place to be. Before we talk about the larger campaign story, he's out in California for three days, starting today. How much can he raise per day? What makes it worth the trip out there, even though, from your point well, of view, he, it's too early? He had to pay for Air Force One and all the entourage, which he doesn't. Uh, he couldn't pay for it. But at the end of the day, I would expect him to raise or get committed uh, 10, 10 million more or more uh, from, the the next, three day. from the three-day trip. If he's not raising a couple million dollars uh, in each of these events, either actual money in the bank or commitments, uh, I'd, be, I'd be shocked. Ed, is this more about uh, just getting an indication of what people will spend later, or is the $10 million from these three days the most he's going to get for the next, I don't know, six no, to no, eight this, weeks? This, this is buying in money. This is basically tying down some of these Silicon Valley types, uh, the L.A. Hollywood types that have traditionally been with him. Uh, but it's getting them feeling like they're a part of the campaign early on, and they'll give more and more as time goes on. Yeah, California was pretty good to him last time around. It was about 20 percent, uh, as I recall, from, from the budget. Will Mark Zuckerberg give money? We know the president is going to Facebook. Uh, he certainly should. Uh, he's getting a big play uh, uh, with the president doing his Facebook town hall meeting, and my sense is that's probably where his inclination is. How are. much do you think the president, if you were on his team, how much would you try to get out of Zuckerberg for him? I would try and use all of his resources to get tens of, tens of millions of dollars. Well, since we're talking about Facebook, obviously technology has changed everything in the way that candidates campaign. We saw that in sure. the 2008 election. How is it different, and, and which candidate is able to use technology best based on what you've seen with you know, 30 years of Well, he was, he was state-of-the-art last time, but everybody else will catch up. At the end of the day, it's still the, the power of television. There'll still be millions of dollars spent on television, and it's still having a message. And if people don't like your message, it doesn't matter whether you send it on Facebook or on primetime television, uh, it's not going to work. I heard you say at the beginning of our conversation that you think the president is starting too early to campaign. What other piece of advice would you give him if you were on his team now? Well, you get reelected because you've done an effective job as president. And I think being out campaigning two or three times a week, which he's, which he's sort of has a schedule to do that, distracts from the job. And I think to a certain extent, people will, will tire quickly of the campaign. Uh, Republicans don't even have a field yet, let alone a nominee. And they're probably a year away from having a nominee. So my sense, he started a little early. How much do you think the debt, the deficit, is going to be a deciding factor in the 2012 election? If employment does not come back and people tie it to the deficit and the deficit continues to rise and looks like irresponsible government, he's the head of the government and he'll pay a heavy price for it. So in your view, if you were to call it now, you would say no matter who the Republicans put out there, Re there's a chance that President Obama would lose. Re-elections are about the incumbent. If people are looking for an alternative and they're starting to already, uh, someone will fill that void. Uh, uh, he, and I would say that uh, the Republicans have an excellent shot of winning this presidency, no matter who they, who they run. Ed, thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank Ed you. Rollins joining us right here in the newsroom. He is chairman of the Rollins Strategy Group. He advised six presidents, was the campaign manager for Mike Huckabee, and also led Reagan's re-election.